This year, NASA has seven missions lined up that will help us expand our vast knowledge of space. All right, so this morning we're putting on our space suit with Dr. Paul Sutter, who is probably in a pretty good mood after last night's national championship. He is an astrophysicist at Stony Brook University and the Flatiron Institute in New York City. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, the big year in exploration, the trip to Mars. There are four missions lined up here, Doc. Which one's your, your favorite one of this, of this year? Oh, man, which one is my favorite? All of them are my favorite because I believe 2020 is the year we will finally conquer Mars. And we have uh, NASA has the Mars 2020 rover, which is very appropriately named, in my opinion. Uh, the, the Europeans and Russians are teaming up to send another rover, the Rosalind Franklin. The Chinese are sending a mission. And newcomer, the United Arab Emirates are sending oh, wow, an orbiter to Mars. That's going to be interesting. A once, race yeah, it is. So let's talk about SpaceX and Boeing because they're aiming for crews to launch into space this year. What is the goal of these crews? Does that have to do with Mars or just, you know, tourism? Uh, yeah, this is part of NASA's commercial crew program, which Americans haven't sent astronauts into space since 2011, the end of the space shuttle. We've been having to hitch rides on Russian rockets launching out of Kazakhstan, and we're kind of getting kind of tired of that. So both SpaceX and Boeing are developing human-rated capsules that are going into test launches this year, might even carry crews to low Earth orbit, the moon, and maybe even Mars. All right, so the Artemis project will be the first uh, flight of the space launch system. What is the slated target destination for this incredibly powerful rocket? Right, the Artemis project. Remember when we went to the moon decades ago and that was all really fun and awesome? Let's do it again. That is yeah. NASA's program, and it's on the biggest, baddest rocket ever built, the SLS, or Space Launch System, to send astronauts the next man and the first woman to the surface of the moon. Yeah, but then their end goal is that's really to get them eventually to Mars, right? So we're not just going to the moon, yeah. but the moon. Yeah, I just want to yeah, clarify exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. The moon's yeah, the moon's a little bit closer than Mars. It's a little bit easier. So the idea is let's test all the technology, let's do all the shakeouts, and let's figure everything out on the moon before a Mars mission. All right, Doc. Listen to this. Besides, uh, Blue Origin is hoping to send people into space this year, and there are planned destinations for this company's flagship suborbital rocket. Are we going yes, to the moon this year? Uh, as uh, New Shepard, this is uh, Jeff Bezos's company of uh, Blue Origins. They're not headed to the moon. They're headed just into, into space and then coming right back. So this uh, is more for space tourism, but also to develop technologies. All right. Dr. Paul Sutter, we always love having you on. Year. I know it is going to be a I mean, very exciting this year. This is all ramping up this year. That it is. Jen.